Yo, what's going on guys, so guy here, and welcome back to another video. This video we're going to be discussing about Fancy. If you didn't know, Fancy is an HTF YouTuber with around 6,000 subscribers. He has recently been blowing up quite a bit, and uh, recently Fastly Crafted, another HTF YouTuber, made a video on him, exposing him for being a scammer. So, in the video, Fastly shows plentiful evidence that Fancy did scam kids for money over accounts, and... Um, Fancy even admitted that this was true. Fancy claims to have scanned three people for $80, $40, and $25. And um, he recently made some response videos, two response videos, two Fastly Crafted videos. And that is basically what I'm going to be this response video is about because most of his uh, arguments and points in those two response videos are kind of bullshit, to put in all honesty. If you like look at it, it just makes... He's just making himself look worse. One of the first points he brings up numerous times in both videos is that he hasn't scammed since the last time he did, which was two months ago. And he continuously brings up that it was two months ago. And he says he's very sorry. And uh, that's basically a reoccurring theme. He says, um, I scammed something two months ago. He changed. And he said he's been he's learned his lesson. It, quote, the scam happened such a long time ago. Like, I don't know about you, but two months is not that long ago. Like, that's just like... That feels like nothing, especially during the summer. Like, let's say you're 16 years old. I don't know how old Fancy is, but I assume he's somewhere around 16. Um, 16 years old, that means you've lived for 192 months. So two out of those 192, I personally don't think that's such a long time ago. I think you're not going to change that quickly from scamming kids over the internet for money, over Minecraft accounts, to being such a good person. Like He also said, I'm really sorry that I fucked up. I scammed somebody two months ago. It happened. It was a while ago. I don't think you really, quote unquote, fucked up. Like, it doesn't sound like it was a mistake when you intentionally and deliberately scammed three player people out of their money over a Minecraft account. Like, scamming is such a scum thing to do. You're literally stealing money from kids on the internet when you yourself have plenty of money. One of his things, he said that uh, he learned his lessons. I don't really think he has learned his lesson, considering they only took away, as of now, recording this video, they only took away his YouTube rank on Arcane, which he already has Legend rank. So it's nearly the exact same thing as YouTuber rank. And he said it himself, the only reason he really cared about it was the higher Q priority and the pink name. So basically, he hasn't been taught any lesson, and he practically hasn't been punished for it at all, besides the fact that his MC Market accounts got banned, which probably doesn't even matter to him, considering he made numerous. And in regards to the uh, him uh, scamming three of the kids, he has not yet apologized to any of those three people or given their money back. And in his video, he cites that they dox, they made a dox on him, and um, he says, quote, that is against the law and you can go to jail for that. Well, end quote, J guess what, Fancy? Scamming is also illegal and you can also go to jail for that too. Like, you know, there's more than one law. You can't just use the laws against everybody else. You have to follow them yourself if you're going to, like, accuse somebody else of breaking the law. Also, one of the main problems I see in uh, Fancy's response videos, unlike Fastly's video where he shows plenty of evidence, Fancy didn't show any evidence of anything. Like, he could have shown it and then blurred out the, like, information, nothing. And I mean, they may have doxed him, but it's really hard to trust somebody like Fancy who's literally two months ago scammed people's money for his Minecraft account that he didn't actually give him, obviously. He just received the money and never gave him the account. So I find it hard to believe, especially with no evidence on any of his claims. And he says in the video that if they had came to him asking for their money back, he would have given it to them before they made the docs. But why should they have to come to you and ask to have their money back when you scammed them? Shouldn't you have realized that, like, you know you scammed them, you intentionally did it, and other people eventually found out, and you didn't, like, I better fix this and go apologize, give them their money back. No, just don't do anything. And then he claims that they doxed him, so he didn't give them their money back. It seems kind of like Fancy was just avoiding the situation until he, uh, he came under fire for it. Fancy also continued in his first video. He said, quote, People change, dude. They're not always going to be a scammer. I haven't scammed in two months. End quote. Again, scamming in like two months is literally nothing in your total lifespan, especially already at your teenage years. You know, that's nothing compared to, you know, how long you've probably been in the Minecraft community and the scene. And it doesn't matter how long ago it was. You still broke rules and most likely the law and are stealing from people i don't think that how long ago makes it right like if you break a law in real life like let's say you kill somebody and then two months later people find out you can't be like oh it was two months ago i changed i don't kill people anymore and like get away with it like that that's not how it works like this is real life dude that just because it's online doesn't mean laws and rules don't apply 
Another point that Fancy brings up is why would um, Fastly Crafted make the video exposing him for scamming now as his channel was blowing up at 6,000 subscribers instead of two months ago. Um, Fastly Crafted claims not to have known back then, but Fancy claims that he does know, so it's really a he said, she said, we don't know for sure when Fastly Crafted find, found out, but even if he did know, which we don't know for sure if he did, I can see why he wouldn't have made a public video about it. Like, Fancy wasn't known back then, he wasn't like popular, but his YouTube channel is going up, like, all these people are subscribing to him, and then I can see where Fastly Crafted would be like, hold on, you guys need to see who this person actually is. He's not like this uh, thing that he puts on for his channel, he's the scammer. In Fancy's video, he said that Fastly quote unquote threatened him if Fancy didn't pay back the, the kids their money that he scammed, Fastly would upload the video. And I kind of think that's a good ultimatum that Fastly Crafted did. Like, you need to pay their money back or I'm going to let the whole community know. Like, you need to fix this solution or I'll have everybody know about it. Like, you know, he chose not to fix it. So, I mean, that's kind of your own fault. Like, he's just trying to help you and he gave you a chance to make the situation right. But you decided not to accept those really nice terms there. So, kind of your own fault, to be honest. And I don't really think that's a threat. It sounds like he was trying to help you in that situation. Another point uh, that Fancy brought up is that Fastly Crafted attacked him in the video that he made on Fancy and that Fastly was being a dick so Fancy attacked him back which doesn't make a whole lot of sense considering Fastly Crafted video was nearly 100% just facts and evidence of Fancy scamming people. He wasn't really attacking him on any like personal level or anything like that just scamming people so i think that he's completely fair in that right and he doesn't deserve retaliation for that doesn't make any sense regarding the scamming fancy said quote the real reason i put fancy up for sales because i bought it for really i bought the name for really expensive and i overpaid and i freaked out that i used so much money on it so i scammed end quote so basically fancy is saying that he decided to steal money from young kids over Minecraft accounts because he's not intelligent enough to make a logical decision about purchasing virtual items. Like, that's really low. Just because you're stupid enough to pay that much for a name and then try and backtrack on yourself and then take money from other people because you made a poor decision, that just doesn't make any sense. One of the huge things that I'm just now getting to in, one of the, in Fancy's first video is that Fancy went really hard at Fastly Crafted. He went like hard at him. He was attacking him for a lot of different reasons, not even related to the scamming thing. He said, uh, all these are quotes, he said Fastly plays with scammers, Fastly dick rides DJ Tasty, Fastly would always start drama with everyone in their faction, nobody even wants to play with him, all he cares about is getting attention and gaining sub, all Fastly is is money hungry and all he wants is money for everything. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. First of all, he ha doesn't have any evidence of this. He doesn't show any, like, you know, I hate to be the guy like, oh, no evidence, it doesn't, it didn't happen, but like, you're making a lot of bold claims against somebody and like trying to hurt the reputation and name, but you're not providing any proof that this actually happened. You're just saying it. And it's hard to believe your word with all the things you've been doing recently. And then he said he said that like Fastly was money hungry, but that's kind of ironic considering Fancy is the one scamming kids for money. Fastly crafted is not. Like he's doing legit things for money. Like I can't remember exactly what he said, but selling items in game or whatever. That's fine. But literally scamming kids is a whole different thing. And it seems like in both of the videos, Fancy is more, especially in the first one, Fancy is trying to direct the hate towards other people like Fastly Crafted. He's trying to redirect it back and trying to take all eyes off of him scamming and basically point the blame on somebody else. You know, all of the things he's pointing out aren't related to the scamming, the situation, and he's just trying to use it to protect himself. It literally, it seems that um, Fancy had no intention of solving the situation himself. And clearly it's been two months and he hasn't. He hasn't done anything, and um, since he scammed and he hasn't fixed the situation or anything, Fancy just seems to be playing damage control a lot and trying to direct the hate somewhere else instead of it continuously being on him, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because he's the, literally the one that is wrong in the situation, in my opinion at least, and I think in many others' opinions, and he's the one that should be fixing the situation and being served consequences, I believe, for it, instead of just redirecting it towards somebody else for unrelated things. Again, with the damage control, um, in the second video, he starts attacking I make MC vids, another HCF YouTuber, about scamming other people. And uh, basically, Fancy's trying to say that, like, look at how bad I make MC vids with scamming people. 
and I didn't do it as bad as him, and basically, like, again, damage control and pointing the blame towards somebody else. Another scum thing that uh, Fancy mentioned was that um, Ash Coon, a Team Green member, Fancy purchased a whitelist for Ash Coon on PvP Lounge, and um, and Fancy Chargeback, which got um, Ash Coon blacklisted on PvP Lounge, I would assume. Fancy said that, quote, when I heard you were talking smack behind my back after I had bought you the whitelist, I charged back, end quote. And basically, that's a really scum thing to do, even if he do it was talking smack behind your back which again didn't provide any evidence for or anyone to like back him up on that that's still not the right thing to do you're charge backing something that you purchase with the intention of no refunds because that's what most of the minecraft servers say is no refunds don't refund it obviously you'll get blacklisted if you do refund so he purchased it knowing you're not supposed to refund and still refunded it for someone else just to screw them over. That's a really scum thing to do. And one of Fancy's last points about the situation is that he believes um, in response to C. Brady was suggesting that he should get banned or blacklisted off of Arcane because of his scamming. And Fancy says that he believes he shouldn't get banned or blacklisted because he is their top donator. He makes videos for them daily and um, it happened two months ago. And he said he'll lose respect for the Arcane team if he gets banned. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense considering it doesn't matter how much money you donated like that that shouldn't matter or influence anything they have other content creators that doesn't make you special just because you put videos out on their on their server it doesn't make you better than anybody else or can avoid the rules like you're still a person you still have to follow the rules like everybody else but yeah guys that's just my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments below leave a like if you agree or enjoy leave a dislike if you disagree or didn't enjoy whatever floats your goat and uh just leave a comment below uh what you think about the situation if you want to see more videos like this, because I do plan on doing more like this, um, more like rant or commentary style videos like, regarding current situations or topics in the different communities. And uh, any suggestions to improve my videos, much appreciated. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.